Hey guys, Alicia here. I know that you are working so hard to drive traffic to your site. You are sharing on Pinterest, you're sharing on Facebook, you're sharing on Twitter, you're sharing, 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 you're sharing everywhere, you're posting, you're connecting with people, you're networking, you're guest posting, you're debating whether to do ads, you're working on your SEO, working on your keywords, all that activity. Where do the most people come into your site? What is the landing page for your site? Do you know? That's what we're going to look at. In analytics, it's really easy to find. And in the next couple of minutes, you are going to see how to easily see the biggest landing pages for your site so that you can optimize those pages and hit a huge percentage of your traffic. So I'm going to open, hey, there we go. I'm going to open, it's always my favorite part where I click over and then I'm still like in a little window. Okay. Uh, this is my mom blog from last summer. You're probably getting used to seeing this. This is still a good way right now for me to show you just some uh, numbers. I am going to show you mine now that I've rebranded once I... <laughs> once you are here and you're viewing this and you have traffic, then you will get to see my new traffic and I'll show you which of my content you are the most interested in. It will be super meta. I'm like super excited for it. Okay, but in a couple minutes, landing pages, here we go. I wanna show you where I went to. Okay, when you are in your analytics account, this is what it's gonna look like. On the left side, you're gonna see this menu and you're gonna scroll down here, audience acquisition, behavior is what you're gonna click on. These pages are the ones that are gonna show you when you just wanna see what's my top content, what content, what's the content, 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 behavior is the content, right? Acquisition is the sources. I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to keep repeating these every time I talk. I'm going to just talk a little bit about the different vocabulary words because I want to demystify them and de scarify them. De -scar I'm making up words. It's super fun. Making up words. That's how you make hashtags that are fun, right? Like de scarify. We're going to de scarify analytics. Okay. Acquisition is like Pinterest, Facebook, traffic sources. Where did it come from? Audience is are they new? Are they returning? Were they on their phone? where they write, like, it's about them. Okay, behavior is content. You're gonna go down, down here. Uh, you're gonna click on site content to open it up. And then you're gonna click on landing pages. So this is where I am. Behavior, site content, landing pages. This is the landing pages report. You can see here, I've got my, you know, five months or whatever it is. And then I scroll down and then I can see these are the top landing pages where people entered my site. This is the first page that they saw when they came to my site. So you can see, I want you to go look at this. And if you don't mind sharing, tell me the percentage. Okay, go find your homepage and tell me in the comments below, please. It'd be super fun. Tell me what percentage of your traffic came first to your site on your homepage. I bet it's less than 50%. Um, I want to know if I'm right. All right. Uh, minus 39%. So I'm positive. I wonder what everybody's is below. I bet everybody's is below 30%. I don't know. We should all guess. You should say what yours is and then you should guess what everybody's is going to be under. Um, okay. So here, because websites are so different than they were before, which is why blogging is so fun, right? Because you put a topic out there on Pinterest or you share something on Facebook or Twitter and people are interested in that topic and they don't go to your homepage where they're seeing all these options. Homepages have a purpose, but they're right, you know, coming in right on that post that contents they wanted to read. They can immediately read it and they learn something about you as an expert about that topic that they were interested in. And then they can click around to the navigation. They can subscribe to your email. They can see just keep scrolling below the post and see if there are other posts that you've like recommended that they're going to assume are related to that one, which is a great way to keep them reading. Okay, so landing pages here, I can just tell you what I know about these from what I was doing last summer. Okay, I know that this got a lot of traffic because there was this, I don't know about link parties. I'm not going to try to be an expert on that, but I found one last summer that was really fun and I put in a couple of times and a couple of my highest hit pages were people who came over from Modern Mrs. Darcy where I was like, oh, these are the books that I'm reading. And she said, hey, everybody post the links to the list, the posts that you have about the books that you're reading so we can all see what books everybody's reading. So I put that in here. So I know that that was a one-time thing and that that's not something that people are continuing to come back to 
that tells me that that link party traffic was successful when I happened to be at the top of the page. I also know it was not when I did not happen to be near the top of the page. I'm not as successful. Anyways, but then here, this one, I know that this was the first post that I shared on Facebook that got reshared by a couple of people. It got more exposure, like more people read it. I could see in my Facebook stats that more people read it. And so this is where, because Facebook is more you know, temporary in, in like how long people will see those posts, I know I shouldn't continue to expect. But so that tells me more for these two about that tactic, that strategy, how well that worked. And so I can see how well, you know, that would work again. For this one, how to set up your own home gym on a budget, I was experimenting with Pinterest ads. And so I tried a Pinterest ad. And so I know that that traffic is from that. Uh, this other one might be from organic. I'd have to look and look at what the PPO is equals O is telling me. Anyways, um, Millennial Moms are awesome. That's just from sharing it around on social. And then this one, anyways, so yeah, we've hit all the different scenarios. So for some of my friends that I've been helping, I've looked at their accounts and they're going to have several that are organic traffic where, um, and this is where we're all getting to, you'll have some of these where you'll know that it's just organic Pinterest traffic. Um, you know what? If you've, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I love uh, secondary dimension. Let's, cause you can, you can like these things over the side, like you can combine them. You don't have to pick between acquisition or behavior. When you do secondary dimension, it filters by the one and then the other. Okay, so I click secondary dimension, started to type in source. I'm gonna click on source and medium. And now this is gonna tell me, well, where to go? Okay, my top landing pages by referral. Now this is cause I had a link on that site to my site. And then this is directly to my site. But then here, okay, so I was saying, so like this was a referral and then the homepage from Facebook and this is usually, yeah. Okay, so over here, this, um, is a higher session duration, like a minute, that's good. I've seen that consistently when you're engaged in on Facebook and you're just talking to people about stuff, they're, we've all done it. You're like talking to that person and you're like, ask them like, what's your link? Or you go click on their profile to click on their thing to find the link in Facebook to their blog, right? Cause you're like, oh, that sounds cool. I'm talking to this person, what's their blog I wanna go see? Well, that person, that traffic does really well. Like that's usually more, more pages per session, higher average session duration because you're curious about that person and so you're going to read more more topics potentially you're going to read one post and be like oh they posted about that i wonder which which direction they're going with that is that like you know and so then you click around on a few different posts and then you get a sense of, you know pr pretty quickly like a better fuller sense of just like what they're like and what they're writing about so overall referral traffic, whenever I come over here and I do like the compare to site average, the referral traffic is always really, it's just higher quality traffic immediately. You can get your organic traffic there, but referral traffic just starts out higher quality as far as more engaged on the site longer, viewing more pages. And then as you get, con you know, if you get uh, your goal goals set up, then you can see conversion rates and that'll be really fun uh, as we look at some some accounts for some bloggers to see how their how their goal conversion rates do across their different traffic. Anyways, point right now, landing pages, there you go. That's how you can quickly see the pages that are actually the front door. They're actually the home page now with social. The home page is no longer as strategic. It's really important to look in here and know the top 10 pages. Now, soon I'll do an um update to this and I'll do it with my new site and I'll do like last week and that's what you should do. I went to a time period last year where I know I had more traffic because then I stopped and then I rebranded. But you should look at last week. Last week, last month, you know, up here in the date picker, you just you just go and you just pick, um, you know, the time period. And then you can come down here, you know, to this landing pages and then you can see what are the top 10 pages, you know, like besides your homepage that are getting the most initial traffic, what are the m main ways where people discover you there? And then those are really important. You need to open up those pages on your site, open them up on a browser and open them up on your phone and say, you know, 
what do I want people to be doing on this page? Do I want them to share? Do I want them to subscribe to my email? Do I want them to click on affiliate links? And you really need to narrow down as few of those kinds of calls to action or things, actions that you want to take as possible to not overwhelm them and to help direct them toward the thing that you want them to do. And that comes from figuring out your business strategy and focusing in on the activities right now that you want people to do to build the particular thing that you want to plug along and build. All right. If you have any questions, please comment and ask me. And if this was helpful, please, please, please subscribe. It will help me so much. And you'll hear about when my next video comes out. It's very important. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for watching. Until next time.